Hey guys, Newbie here bringing you an update video on my automatic breeding device along with a few answers to some of the common questions that I've seen. Now I guess the first thing I need to say is that yes I will be manufacturing these so you will get your chance to get your hands on one. I'm doing most of the design work myself and I'm closing in on the final design with just a few tweaks needed here and there. I'm also working through sourcing components and I've had some preliminary discussions with manufacturers ultimately working towards getting some quotes. From there I'll need to do some fundraising and a few of you have suggested Kickstarter which is something that I may look at doing so keep an eye out for that. I decided I needed to come up with a name for the device. I've been calling it an automatic breeder but in reality it can be programmed to do a whole range of tasks. So I've decided to give it the name GamePro which is short for Gaming Programmable Robot. So from here on out and in future videos I'm going to refer to it simply as GamePro. The first question I'd like to address is this, can it be used for games other than Pokemon? Yeah absolutely, it just so happens that I'm a Pokemon fan and all the code that I've written so far has been for Pokemon games. But there's no reason why the game pro couldn't be programmed to play other games as well. This leads nicely on to the next question, will I make my code available? The answer is yes I will. Once the game pro is available to the public, I will make my code available both as an executable so it can be run directly as well as the source code so that people can add to it or make any modifications that they want to. In fact what I'd like to do is create a platform where people who write their own code can upload it for others to download. I'm sure there are many of you out there capable of writing some awesome programs and it would just be a cool way to be able to share it with others. Next question, will it work on a Mac? As of yet I haven't tried it on a Mac, but my goal is basically to get it to work on as many different platforms as I can, and this includes Mac. Will it fit on the 3DS XL? Actually it already does. My 3DS is an XL, so that's what I've been using it for so far. So I guess the question really is, will it also fit on just a standard 3DS? And this particular version of it won't, uh, because the units are different sizes but I will probably look at making a unit also for the standard 3DS. Now a couple of people have also asked if I will make one for the 2DS and at this stage the answer is probably not, although if the demand is high enough anything could happen really. Can it soft reset? The answer to this at present is no. The Game Pro so far only uses the buttons up, down, left and right as well as A, B, X and Y. However, I do appreciate that soft resetting would be quite a useful feature to have, so I may look at making an attachment that's capable of doing this. When will the Game Pro unit be available for purchase? This question is a little bit tricky to answer as it depends on quite a few factors. Once I get the quotes back from manufacturers I can start fundraising and that should take perhaps a couple of months. I realise that the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games are just around the corner and it would be cool to have the Game Pro available for those games. Now, So that's the kind of time frame that I'm aiming for, although there's quite a bit of pressure on my time at the moment so that's perhaps a little bit ambitious. So I guess the answer is in the reasonably near future um, and just keep checking back for updates but I'll be doing the best I can to get these units available as soon as I can. How much will a Game Pro cost? This is probably the hardest question to answer, especially since I'm still waiting on quotes for various components and that sort of thing. So really it's hard for me to even give kind of a ballpark estimate. But what I can say though is that the prototype that I made cost me around $150 New Zealand for all of the components, although that included um, getting one part machined and also buying all the components individually. So I'm hoping that by manufacturing in bulk I can bring that cost down substantially. So yeah, unfortunately I can't give you too much of an accurate figure at this stage, but hopefully as I receive more information I'll be able to give you the price that's a little bit closer to what you might expect.
that's it for this update. I hope I've covered off most of your questions. If you do have any further questions, please leave them as comments in the comment section and I'll do what I can to get you an answer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up as I really appreciate the support. And also if you haven't subscribed already, do so just so I can keep you updated with any further information. Until next time, see ya!